more respect I saw the light and now I got to reflect straight back Here's a little message while you live And what I got to give is somewhat positive Spade, the brother's gonna serve rhythmatically Pass up onto you what was taught to me That was Afrocentricity about being spiritual So here we go to proceed quite lyrical Praise the one for which I pledge my stand Peace to the creator, word to the motherland I got to give it up cause I'm down with Casa Jumped in the circle, I was told we have to Stand together as one in unity Amongst ourselves, amongst our community Strong, repelling the interference of genocide Luther King died to keep the dream alive Mandela, the fellow served 25 Still revived, speaking, teaching others to survive And look towards the Nubian place Your mind is a waste if you don't know your race or heritage, history of the Afro-American Who's truly African, there's no comparison We're all the same underneath the skin Whether dark or light, you might be my kids So I relate to my brothers and my sisters See, to the east, to the east, to the east of me We travel over here by slave ship I drop the bomb on the Uncle Tom Who ain't hip straight to the situation of the Asiatic nation I stop him in the face with righteous information Stating this, educating only facts and reality That's well Supplemented by spirituality. It's about to go down here on the me on Jiami Journey Media family. Oh man. Ujima and me. Ujima and me. Ujima and me. Cause all I need is God. Y'all need to check me out in the Discord. I'm gonna post it up. Ujima and me. Ujima and me. Cause all I need is God. 
Kojima Our teams are killing each other, you know it's crazy Some of the things they do doesn't seem to amaze me I just sit back, relax, and watch and observe Our people are dying, so we need to emerge Emerging the fact in the fact that you're black I'm a newbie and sister, so step the hell back Knowledge, I'm trying to break it down to you And everything you do selling crack, it ain't cool I come from a genius, so a genius I am I can create, motivate, and even educate For the ones who try to make me back into a slave Check it out, Uncle Tom, there was a bad old day And if you want to argue and act really dumb You keep this stuff up and we ain't gonna never overcome Dr. King didn't die for nothing, I suppose So let's keep his dream alive, cause that's what he would've chose And let's come together so his dream could last forever and ever in the process of that we can all be free And all we need is God, Ujima and me Ujima and me Ujima and me Ujima and me Cause all we need is God, Ujima and me Ujima and me Ujima and me Ujima and me Cause all we need is God, Ujima with Ujima we need to come together so all of our black people can last forever and ever. Do you hear what I'm saying? You better wake up and stop the game playing and learn our story. And keep learning and learning until we headed for the glory. And after that, we can all be free. And all we needed was God, Ujima and me. Ujima and me. Ujima and me. Ujima and me. Cause all we need is God, Ujima and me. Ujima and me, Ujima and me, Ujima and me, cause all we need is God, Ujima and me. I'm gonna post it up in the chat. Those that's bold enough, click it. It's coming in the chat. This is experimental. Did we, you gonna hear about this first of Giami Journey Media? Have your phone ready, have your computer ready. Cause we gonna have us a super group chat. I praise God as I rock the mic. Come on, I praise God as I rock click the that mic. link. If you God dare to join the conversation, click that God link. If you dare to listen. join the conversation, get your phone ready, family. Oh, we to move to another level. Let's get this conversation popping off. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it in on the um. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it in the um. It's posted in the uh. In the voice and our general text too in the Discord. I'm gonna see who wanna talk tonight. We about to have it. We about to have this conversation because this shit about to get real. Cause I'm about to show y'all how Digifest is about to go down. Jesus will bless thee. It's part of the prophecy. Look deep into yourself. Self will set you free. In the full effect. Don't be a fool, black. Hope you prepare yourself for a mental or spirit check. I praise God. I praise God. I praise God. I praise God as I rock the mic. Oh, it's about to go down. Come on, family. I praise God as I rock the mic. I'm going inside to take a look at all the sights I couldn't see in the It's about to get live. In a mortal mind state. I think Listen we up on Spreaker. We up on Spreaker. Yes, we are. Power to the I are we up on, on Facebook? Earth. I got to go to the underground first. Listening to my elders to reach my youth. To elders as I speak to we up order that's by God. on Listen Twitch. Are we up on Facebook? Here we go. Man, we up live on Facebook. We up live on Twitch. We up live on Africa TV. Is that what you think it is? We up live on YouTube. Oh, we up live on D Live. Man. I'm about to come in, family.
We about to bring it in. We about to land the mothership. About to land it. Shots out. Oh, we about to take this shit to another level because I, I need to explain what's going on right now. Fam, listen, 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 listen. I am late because first off, I took a bath so I wouldn't go to sleep. But I fell asleep in the tub. And y'all know how that go for Brother Hot Tip. But listen, listen. Now, if you look on the chat, if you look on the chat, I'm going to post it up on the Spreaker chat too. Because we may have to connect to just like, in a sense, get rid of a lot of different stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, so I was trying to explain to y'all this morning. I received a text from uh uh on in the Discord from a brother by the name of Synapse. Now Synapse, for those that don't know, Synapse is a gamer. Right? Gamer, right? And I told y'all, like I said, I, I I'm picking up a lot of the game from 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 gamers. I know that sounds crazy. Picking up a lot of game from the gamers. What this brother has created was he was being asked the question can you do a conference call over rtmp that will have very low latency and people will be able to conversate directly and quickly and even be able to play instruments and be in tune he sent out a text and said, hey, who interested in something like this? And you know I jumped on that shit. I'm like, hey, you know, we talking about doing this digi fast, and, you know, we, we might have a trumpet player that's in Chicago. We may have a sax player that's in Columbus. We may have a keyboard player that's in Cleveland, and they all would want to jam together doing digi fest. We might have a speaker um, in some places, but some other people might want to come on and directly talk with them in real time can we do that homeboy said man that ain't nothing so now we're about to experiment with this right we're going to experiment with it i'm going to post it up also in the instagram so if you're bold enough you're bold enough enter the chat room of death you know what i'm saying enter the chat room of death you know what I'm saying? Let's have a good conversation because we're about to go and break down these proverbs and hopefully somebody out there is willing to step up and at least give it a try. Step up and give it a try because we got some people in the chat room. Family, this technology is incredible. I think I have figured out how to get it to work. You know what I'm saying? Come on in and let's have this conversation. So, so let me go to my full screen. Let's go to the full screen. We're going to go to the full screen so that we can have this discussion, so we can have this conversation. I don't want that picture ain't. The light must not be here. Like, hold on. That's a little bit better. All right. So, family, of course, you know tonight is Tribal Quotes. Tonight is Tribal Quotes, and we're going to break down some of these quotes and proverbs that we have, and oh, well, actually, they're actually proverbs. That's coming from the book called "The African Openness to the Tree of Life." The African Openness to the Tree of Life, and those that want to chat now, um, let me go on and I am going to at least open a link for the Uber conference. But I don't think we need to use Uber Conference tonight, family. Um, I want y'all to listen to me. There's a link on the thing. Click the link so that we can see how this works. Because some of y'all out there might want to use something like this. Some of y'all out there might want to use something like this. Click the link so that you can come into the chat room. Right? And we will have the conversation as a matter of fact i'm gonna go to it right now matter of fact i need to set it up real quick real quick so that i am also in the chat room let me go on and uh fix it up a little bit so that i'm in there as well i should have did this before but you know i'm slow i'm slow you know 
Y'all know, Brother Hot Tim is slow. But y'all come on and click the link. <clears throat> and come on into the chat room. Come on, let's have us a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Let's have us a conversation. Yeah. No, well, no, you don't have to. No, don't test the Uber chat. We know the Uber chat work, right? It's a link on, it's a link in the chat. There's a link in the chat for Instagram. It's a link in the chat for Spreaker. There's a link in the tra- chat for every platform we have. All you got to do is click the link. Now, it's not going to, it's going to use the device that you are using. And it's going to render an image and it's going to post it right up here for everybody to see and to hear. So, I need somebody to test this out for me because this is how DigiFest is going to go down. Because I'm going to learn how to use this and family, this shit is this shit is ridiculous. I'm telling you right now, uh, Grupo, oh, Grupo Unidaji Capoeira in Huntsville, y'all going to be able to practice Capoeira from a distance. You're going to be able to have somebody with a tambourine on the east side. You're going to have somebody with the band by on the west side. This, this this is the type of technology we got. And everybody going to be able to be on beat and be in rhythm. Well, you might be off by two thousandths of a second or two hundredths of a second. But, hey, we can make that up because we know, right? But anyway, so we're about to go and get into our discussion. I'm going to open up the, I'm going to open it up just a little bit for y'all so y'all can see what it look like. That's the new room that we got set up. So I wanted, I need to test it to see how many people could get in here. I want to test to see how many people want to get in here. Like I said, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, hit me up and I will send you a, uh, maybe I'll send you a direct text if you are in, um, if you are on my phone, I'll send you a direct text so that you could try it out. I'm going to definitely experiment with this tomorrow because this is ridiculous, right? But anyway, Proverbs for the night, Proverbs for the night. Truth seekers of wisdom use the divine formula. The divine equation of ever knocking and ever asking. Nothing is denied those ever using the divine formula and equations of proper knocking and proper asking, say the knowledge holders. Existence has a face on every side. Well, that's number one. That's number one. Let me go back. Here's number two. Existence has a face on every side and every face teaches a lesson. Those who fully understand existence do not separate the faces from the lessons. Say the knowledge holders. Every lesson reveals aspects of cosmic law. Dope. Dope. All right. Next. Human being has its structure from the temple of wisdom. Human beings should learn to read their own scroll. In it is written the key to cosmic law. Said the knowledge holders, the human body epitomizes on earth cosmic functions. Every aspect of creation bears the stamp of cosmic law, say the knowledge holders. All right, before we get into that, let's go handle a little bit of business first. Not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greeks were so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical the division of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who is represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is a
there, Kwame. Click the link. When I say too black, you say too strong. Too black. Too strong. Yeah. Why you ain't click the link on um Don't click the sprinkle oh my god it's all they all the same link so maybe it ain't working I don't know hold on give me a second All right, speaker right now is a silent commercial, so I'm going to have to get some music with that. I'm on, next time I get it, um, next time I'm going to ask sister to make sure some music with it so that y'all don't have to be sitting here quiet, but it's a workout, um, it's a virtual workout that's going to be taking place. Um, it's coming from all over the country. Sister Roni is involved with it, um, and I will read the name to you. I just want to make sure that we're able to promote our experts in this in in the community. All right, so let's get it. All right, so I'm up right now. I'm up right now. I'm on the Synapse channel. Some people say that the link is not working. So, um I just text the link out. I just text the link out. If Elder Alona want to try, want me to test Uber Chat. The speaker link doesn't work for me. Same problem. Elder Alona was like, okay, cool. So Kwame, look into our group chat. I just text the link out. Excuse me. Oh, 
So um, look in our chat on the text message because I may I, I just sent it out. I'm hoping that some of the people in Giami Journey is still up and we'll test it out so that we can see if the link works. Um, and right now I'm going to stay here just in case somebody decide to come in. But let's let's take it in order. Right. Let's take it in order. All right. Um. Yes. True seekers of wisdom use the divine formula. The divine equation never knocking, ever asking. Nothing is denied those ever using the divine formula. And equations of proper knocking, proper asking, say the knowledge holders. Right? So now, we're going to start with that one. Okay? So now, here we go. So, persistence. Persistence is a key. It's a powerful thing. A very powerful thing. Now, this is not what I was originally going to talk about. Because when I got out the tub, I mean, when I was in the tub, the thoughts was flowing. And I said, man, I can't wait for this show. I'm so excited. But then I got out and I got this other news because I'm trying to get ready for the DigiFest. Because what I want to do, I want to make sure that this thing is very, very successful. But. That lines up with the, the idea behind what this proverb is trying to teach us. It says, true seekers of wisdom use the divine formula. Now, first off, how many true seekers of wisdom are out there? You know, so we got a lot of people that seek knowledge, right? But one of the things that we discussed years ago in the underground or the, the older the older family that was involved with Jamie Journey was what was the equation for wisdom? And part of the equation for wisdom was not just knowledge. See, because knowledge is cool. People say knowledge is power and stuff like that. Knowledge give you access to power, but knowledge, right, plus action creates wisdom. So you got people that talk about they want to be wise. But no, they're not really wise. They're knowledgeable. They got a whole bunch of information and they're able to spout this information and impress people because it is impressive for somebody to be able to hold a whole lot of information and be able to spell it out. Right. But then what you have to be able to do, family, to determine whether that information that's coming out their mouth, that knowledge that's coming out their mouth to see if it's wisdom. Is to see what actions have they been taking in their life and what have they been successful at? What do they have a skin? What 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 games do they have skin in? Right? See, those the seekers, true seekers of wisdom, use a divine formula. Now let's look at this divine formula. The divine formula is very simple. The divine divine formula is divine equation of ever knocking and ever asking it's time for y'all to be in bed anyway it's about to be it's about to be um uh, wailing and gnashing of teeth right here in giami house but anyway True seekers of wisdom use the divine form, the divine equation of ever knocking and ever asking. Ever knocking and ever asking. Persistence. Right? Seekers of divine wisdom always use persistence. Persistence. Ever knocking. Ever asking. But let's go on a little bit deeper with it because they give you a little bit more. And I want you to understand that this book takes some very complicated ideas and simplifies. This is why I love Proverbs. This is why I call them crystallized wisdom. This is why I talk about this crystallized wisdom. Because if you sit down and you really think about it and you really try to digest it, what you find, what you find is that. It gives you the, the answers to many of the problems that you have been faced with in your life. And the only reason you weren't able to get the answer was because you didn't have the patience and you didn't have the persistence. But it, it tells you something else in this. It says. 
True seekers of wisdom use the divine formula, the divine equation of ever knocking. And ever asking. Some of us knock. But many of us don't ask. Many of us don't have an ask. What's your ask? Like I tell you when we when we um pouring libations in the morning every now and then I you know and I I'll be like this that selfish toast. What's your ask? Not what your ass, but what what's your ask? We done called on the creator. We done called on our ancestors. We done saluted the present moment. And where our power is, we saluted the future generations. We called on all of our relations. And then we get to the point where I ask you, I say, is, I say this is that selfish toast. What's your ask? Many of us don't ask anything. Maybe because we are ashamed that we don't know the answers. But we need, to, we need to start learning how to ask. And I ain't talking about just always asking people. Go away. Go to bed. I ain't just talking about asking people. Now, check this out, family. Just experiment with this. Experiment with this. Very simple experiment. Ask a question and just go to sleep. Ask yourself a question, right? Ask yourself a question. Why? How? Ask yourself a question and see what what the universe will open up for you. Many of us don't take the time to ask. Our ancestors are here. They're around us. We can't see them. And, okay. But our ancestors are here. And many of us are not throwing out questions. Many of us have not even asked about why we are in this situation. Yeah, when we get in trouble, we ask. But it's too late. You know, it's too late for that. Sometimes you need to just be asking, should I do this? I mean, and don't just think it, but just actually in, in the universe, maybe in the marriage, should, you, should, should, should I be doing this? Ever knocking and ever asking. Family, what's your ask? All right, but let's go on. Let's go on a little bit deeper. True seekers of wisdom use the divine formula, divine equation of ever knocking and ever asking. Nothing, listen, nothing is denied those ever using the divine formula, an equation of proper knocking and proper asking. So now, it's, first it says, Ever knocking, ever asking. But then it goes, the the divine formula and equation of proper knocking and proper asking. Some of us are running up to the door and being very disrespectful in how we do it because we think that we deserve the answer. Are you asking properly? Are you knocking properly? Are you are you practicing the humbleness? Are you practicing the manners that hopefully if you had grandparents in your life that they were trying to instill in you? Or are you going up there with the arrogant American attitude that everything belongs to you? That 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 piece of that white supremacy virus that a lot of us got. Come on, family. Proper knocking. Proper asking. Are you practicing it? That's a divine equation. Nothing is denied. It's, listen, it says nothing. And this is what blew my mind when I first. Nothing is denied. Those ever using the divine formula. An equation of proper knocking and proper asking. Are we teaching our young people how to properly knock? And how to properly ask? Properly ask. Are we having those discussions? Are we teaching the courtesies? And not just courtesies to others, but the courtesies to yourself. How do you talk to yourself? Right? Are you respectful even when you're talking to yourself and when you're throwing a question out into the universe? Have we shown our children how to ask themselves questions before they go to sleep? 
so that they can miraculously wake up with an answer or 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 throw a question out into the universe. This weekend we're gonna do um what we call the rock ritual. Right? <laughs> we're gonna teach our young people to put a question on the rock as they take it through the ritual and throw it out. And see what comes back. Proper knocking and proper asking. Family, very powerful tool. Very, very powerful tool. And I and I love the fact that it says nothing is denied. Nothing. And I want y'all to think about that. Nothing is denied. This ain't Brother Hatim's words. This is the words of the African openings to the tree of life. And be like, Brother Hatim, but so 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 what qualifies this this book? All right, cool. Check this out. Um, let's just look where this brother got this information from. Just, just let me just read some of it. All right, starting with the A's, we got Wanda Ife, an expo- exposition of Ife Literary Corpus, Ibadan, Oxford University Press, Nigeria, 1976, Abimo, Abimbola, Wanda Ife, Divination Poetry, New York, um, 1977, Audler Alfred Zimplani, Andrea Le Baton de la Avangul Divination Melody et Pervor Ches la Mondang du Chetat. This dude was reading French. Arenza Sacrifices in Igbo Religion. Awana Kofi Guardians of the Sacred Word. Iwe Poetry. Or, uh, yeah, Awe Poetry. Bakar and Tor Ben Mwini, the customs of Swahili people, Balander George and Jackis Maquette, Dictionary of Black African Civilization, New York, 1974. Um, Bible Yak D and Kahombon C. Martin, the Mwindo Epic, Budge E. A. Wallace, the Book of the Dead, Budge E. A. Wallace, Osiris and the Egyptian Resurrection. Baranghanga Akiki, ABT compiler, occasional research papers on African religion and philosophies. Dungwa, JB, the Akan Doctrine of God. De Libris Ishwa Shwala, her Bach, good book. The Living Face of Ancient Egypt. De Libris Ishwala, her Bach, Egyptian Initiate, good book. Zina as in the place of the supreme God in the traditional religion of Igbo. Grou Mar- Marcel, Marcel Grou, conversation with Ogo Tomele, an introduction to Dogon religious ideas. Idua E.B. African, traditional religion, London S.E.M. Press, 1973. Idua E.B. Oladamare, God of the Yoruba belief. Kimambo I-N-C-K Amari, the development of religious thought and center amongst the Pare. Koeche King Pong Ino, African mythology, a key to understanding African religion. Lasalu, Charlotte, and Petet, and Peter, African proverbs. Leon Hart, Gil, um, Godfrey, divinity and experience. Mainga My, Mutumba, a history of Lozi religion and to the end of the 19th century. And B.T. John and B. John and B.T. Ooh. African religions and philosophies. Great book. And B.T. John. John and B.T. The prayers of African religions. Madonga, Eugene, eti- etiology and divination among the Sicilia. You know what I'm saying? So that's pieces of the the uh, resources from which this dude pulled this information. He pulled these proverbs from his Afri- his actual research into our people. In the actual resources where he's going back and he's looking at the traditional religions and he's bringing it over and he put it into a small book for us. And what's crazy about it is that that is in the middle of the book. The small book, that information is in the middle of the book. So not only can you read this book yourself, you go through 
his resource guy and and follow the path that he that he went through to pick it up so that you could find where he got each one of these quotes. So when you ask what makes this man qualify, you know what I'm saying? What makes this book qualify to say something like, hold on, let me go back to it. The true seekers of wisdom, true seekers use the divine formula, divine equation of ever knock, a divine formula, divine equation of ever knocking, and ever asking. Nothing is denied those ever using the divine formula and equation of proper knocking and proper asking, said the knowledge holders. Are we teaching our young people proper knocking and proper asking? Are we practicing proper knocking and proper asking are we asking the right people are we properly knocking on the right doors what are the right doors that we should be knocking on are we having these conversations right i mean because we got plenty of time a lot of us are in quarantine or supposedly everybody i know is an essential worker what's up with that shit Damn near anybody I know is an essential worker. So, all right, but I, you know, that's neither here nor there. So that's the first one. Now, the the the, 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 the piece here for tribal quotes is not for us to answer. Because what I'm giving you is my perspective. You need to go back, listen to the proverb yourself, and share with us what you think the proverb means. So I guess nobody going to join me tonight, right? Everybody's scared. Or everybody want to go to the black line. Let me go on over here and let me go on and check the black line. Ain't nobody there either. So I guess I done went too late. People didn't just gave up. They're like, brother, I tell you, ain't coming on this late. Listen, family, I got a new method. I am, I am, rather than taking a nap, I'm jumping in the bed. I'm jumping in the tub so that I can make sure that I stay up so that I can make sure I give y'all the show. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read. And go through um, the other two. And then I'm going to call my, I'm calling somebody. I'm going to make somebody jump on this damn thing with me. Because I want to make sure that it works. Because I'm going to use this for Digi. For the Digi. Matter of fact, I'm going to use it. I'm about to send, uh, we're going to have a couple of interviews next week. And I'm, man, it's it's going down, family. It's going down. It's just going to be ridiculous. I'm just trying to let y'all know. It's going to be ridiculous because I don't even think y'all even understand what you're looking at right now. We're looking at a piece of the future right here. A little technology, a little piece of technology, right? The young people are going to be able to use, that the old people are going to be able to use, that we're going to be able to do the, um, I'm going to stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. All right. Let's go ahead. Hold on. Next one. Existence has a face on every side and every face teaches a lesson. Those who fully understand existence do not separate the faces from the lesson, said the knowledge holder. Every lesson reveals aspect of cosmic law. This existence has a face on every side. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, now my interpretation, the whole universe is alive. Faces. And many of us get lost because we separate the face from the lesson. We want to separate the face from the lesson. And in separating the face from the lesson, we, in a sense, miss the whole thing. Now, I don't know what that means. I'm just throwing it out there. The face and the lesson. See, because, you know. One of the problems I had, and I still have, I'm older, I don't calm down. I used to get in fights or get in other people's fights. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like people being picked on. And I had a very, very bad habit of getting involved in other people's scrapes and not knowing who in the fuck I beat up. I mean, I took some lumps, but you know what I'm saying? I would get into beefs and whoop somebody's ass and not even know who the fuck I was beating up. 
And it was at least three different occasions where I ended up in places with individuals that I had gotten a fight with helping somebody else, standing up for somebody else. With individuals that I had kind of fucked up. Now, I didn't remember the face. I didn't take time to even remember the face. I just took time to realize that one of my friends was in danger and I stepped up. But I didn't remember the face of the individual that I had to fuck up. Now, if those individuals were not scared, maybe, or was very spiteful or very vengeful, they could have took me out and I I wouldn't even know why they had came at me. I separated the face from what was going on. Right? I did I didn't remember the face. So I didn't I didn't have the cautionary signs or the you know what I'm saying, the things there. So in a sense I separated the face from the danger. By us being able to identify and look at the face of things, we how can I put it? It says, existence has a face on every side and every face teaches a lesson. Those who fully understand existence do not separate the faces from the lessons. Many of us are separating the face from the lesson. We're not getting a hold. Of, we're, we're missing a major part of it. Right. We're hearing. We're hearing the joke, but we're not getting it. You ever been in that situation before? Somebody told a joke and you didn't get it. And everybody else is laughing. And you sitting around looking at everybody like, what? The, what? That shit wasn't even funny. And then all of a sudden, when you finally got it, it clicked in. You're like, oh, man, I get it. I, I get it now. Many of us are separating the face from the lesson we're not getting it we're missing it you're missing it and because you're missing it we want to get that lesson again all right every lesson reveals aspects of cosmic law so everything we go through family everything we go to in a sense, teaches us about the universe that we're in. Black folks, what do we learn about the universe that we are in? What do, what cosmic laws are we learning in some of these fucked up relationships that we are in? What cosmic laws are we learning about the relationship, our relationship, our personal relationship with money, our group relationship with money? Right? Every, every Every lesson teaches or reveals aspects of cosmic law. See, now, one of the issues that we have is that a lot of us, we get caught up in the laws of men and the philosophies of men rather than looking at the cosmic laws that are above all that. Now, what do you mean, Brother Hatim? Like when we look at the when we look at history, we often look at history through a lens of human uh, uh how can I put it? The lens that has been given to us. And we don't really think, we don't really step back and really look at history and the harshness of history. We miss it. Because we, 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 we fall in love with the romanticized pictures of history. But when we step back, we can see cosmic law. And we can see cosmic law happening without actually really even giving a fuck. Cosmic law don't give a fuck. It crushes 
and it assists in the rise and then it crushes and it assists in the rise and then it crush. We're not we're looking at the story we want to tell, but we're not actually looking at cosmic law. It, prime example is when, when we look at the when we look at our community and we look at the relationship that that black folks all over this world have with the world. We believe the lessons that we have been given. That, you know, to be human is to be fair and love everybody. And we believe all that shit. But cosmic law, when you look at cosmic law, you want to see cosmic law turn on the nature channel. You see cosmic law. You see the little pretty gazelle. That gazelle is just beautiful and lovely. It warms your heart and it hops and hops through the grass. And it loses focus for a second. And cosmic law steps in and smashes his ass. Many of us really don't want to accept the reality that we live in. Humanity has been operating like the lion and the gazelle, like the alligator and, 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 and its prey, like the falcon and its prey since the beginning. Many of us, we want to paint pretty pictures. But it's all about that predator and prey thing. I, I just think that we, many of us, are not aware of the fact that we gonna have to make a choice, cause this prey shit is not good for us. Cause whether y'all know it or not, family, we are being preyed upon because we have we have we we are separating the face from the lesson. We don't get it. The joke is everybody, every nation around the world is laughing at the joke except for us. We don't get it. We're trying to get we're trying to get liberation. We're trying to get freedom for free. And on volunteer shit. That shit don't work. Never have. Never will. Never have. Never will. This is why the universities come in and, and grab our brightest. This is why the CIA come in and grab our brightest. This is why the military come in and grab our brightest. This is why these companies come in and grab our brightest because if our brightest is working for others all the goddamn time, they don't have time to focus on where we need to be. They're focusing on building somebody else's kingdom rather than their own. Mm. Cosmic law. Cosmic law is very harsh. It's very harsh. Either you get it or you get done by it. And we're going to have to make a critical choice, family. Where you want to be in that equation? Now, I done, I done posted that. Let me post this thing up again because y'all scared, man. Stop being scared. I ain't, I swear I ain't going to bite. I swear. I swear I ain't going to cuss at you that much. I'm posting it up again. It's a link. It's blue. Click the link. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on. Uh, man, my tribe members ain't even doing it, man. My tribe members is letting me down. Yeah, that's it right there. Click on it. Right? When you click on it, it's going to be a okay. Click okay. Come on in the chat room and let's have us a discussion. Where's Chaka, where you at when I need you, man? You know what I'm saying? Where, where you at? Where my family at? I need to see if this thing works. But anyway, last one, and we done. My baby's writing in my book. The human being has its structure from the temple of wisdom. Human beings should learn to read their own scroll. In his... In it is written the keys to cosmic law, said the knowledge holders. The human body epitomizes on earth cosmic function. 
Every aspect of creation bears the stamp of cosmic law, say the knowledge holders. I ain't even gonna try to go into that one, but let me show you what this thing could do. Watch, hold on. Now it's going to be a slight echo. So I'm gonna turn off my mic. Hold on. I'm talking the mic off. So I turn the mic on, turn the mic off when I get started. So I'm going to the chat. Oh, it ain't in the chat. The hell? All right. I got another place that I go. Let me go in here. All right. So let's say, let's say I have an interview and I want to do the interview. So I send this out. I send this link out. Person click on it. Like that. Something to pop up. It'll tell you. It'll ask about your audio device, your video device. It usually go to the one that's preset, right? And then I'm going to click my mic off so it won't be a, a horrible echo. The, the, the person, person pops into the chat. chat. I could go, go in, in and, and I, I can, can adjust. adjust. Ooh. I got, I got an echo. echo. Right? I, I can enter the, the chat, chat on my phone right now. Where you in the... Oh, oh that's Kwame. So I got a person on in the chat. Now I could go better yet. I could do this. So I just muted myself in the chat. Now what I have to learn how to do is what which I'm about to do right now. I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to go to the chat and learn how to move it. I got to learn how to move it, move it around, which I can learn. It ain't nothing. I could get the whole screen. Probably y'all, hopefully y'all seeing the whole screen. Or, um, so when I get done, he going to show me how to do it. So we got, uh. I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to figure out how to move this around. So now I got room in the chat for another individual to pop up in there. Now, this camera is not that clear. So let's go with a good camera. I'm pulling out my Pixel. This I think this is the Pixel 3 or is the Pixel 4. I don't know which one. But anyway, so I'm coming through. Over there. Right? And I said, I want somebody else to go on and join the chat. But y'all acting scared. You know what I'm saying? I understand. You're, you're kind of scared. So let me go back and make sure that y'all can see me. Right? Y'all acting scared. And that's cool. I understand. I mean, it, it's rough. It's rough. Right? Y'all like, Brother Hot Tim, we don't know what you on, man. What you talking about, Brother Hot Tim? I want to show y'all what we're going to be able to do. So let me get a phone with a better camera. I need to go to my push bullet. And I need to go on and click. A 
allow, allow, allow. So I'm allowed to use my audio, I'm allowed to use my video, and I'll be like, save. And once again, I done popped pop back, pop back up. The feedback is so Because it's all me. I'm trying to find me. I'm back up. I want y'all to see how clear that picture is. Now, I got my Chromebook over here. I got my Pixel right there. Y'all also see me on my camera on my OBS. Down here. I don't know if y'all can see all that. Let me see. I don't know. Let's make it a single camera. Let's go out of studio mode. Huh. Okay, let me interact. Hold on. I want to interact with the page. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I wonder if I cast the browser. Copy, invitation link. What is that dinging? All right. So I don't know what y'all can see, but I wonder if y'all can see my browser. So I'm going to work on this. Okay, it dropped. So let me see. So somehow... I'm able, able to interact with the browser. Maybe because I got this in here. I don't know. Let's see. Move me here. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Oh, better yet, let me see. Go to what, what y'all seeing. I hear you and can't hear or see me. I hear you and you can't hear or see me. You're in here? You clicked it, Kwame, you in? Oh, hold on. Let me see something real quick. So you don't switch with me. All right, hold on. So how about if I do this? Once again, uh-oh. So let's experiment. What? Hold on. I'm going to create a new scene. Uh, test. And I'm going to capture my display. Display capture. Oh, shit. I already got that. I don't need to do that. Let's get out of there. Let's go up here. New screen. Display capture. Hold on. I see some I see some talking going on and I just do this. Wonder if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Can y'all hear me? Check one, check two. I just switched it. Can y'all see that? 
Guess not. It looked like it's frozen. Oh, it is frozen over here. Y'all like, Brother Hot Tim, you crazy. Hold on, I'm not done yet. My madness. I am, am I muted? I don't see you, Kwame. Where you at? Did you click the link? I'm in both the link you sent and Twitch so I know what's going on, at least until you respond. Hold on. Let me see if I can find you, Kwame. You are. So you said you you clicked the link in there, the video? Mm -mm. Hold on. If I share screen, I might, this whole damn thing might just collapse. Let's do that. I'm still looking for Kwame. Kwame, where you at? Anybody else click the button? So it didn't switch. What's going on? And it dropped. It well. I'm... Oh, let me move me. Hold on. All right, which one is that? That one is this. So it dropped that one. Let's see what happened. I was about to do it on my next one. But anyway, I'm going to experiment with it. But y'all get the idea. It's totally froze over here. I think I might have crashed it. Hold on. Let me go and check. We're going to call it a night. Well, no, we ain't totally crashed yet. All right, cool. So I'm up above. That is that camera. This camera has fallen off. So let me go on and refresh it. So it should be so coming. All right, let me All right, move it. Right. All right, there we go. But it looked like the other one dropped. So I might only be able to do three. But I'll be able to get somebody on here real good. And once I figure out how to get everything working, it's going to be the bomb. I'm just trying to let y'all know right now. So, but it's still a prototype. And I'm just going to have to let them know what went wrong. <sighs> but it feel good to have some shit that nobody else got. At least yet. All right, family. This is Brother Hot Tim. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm about to go to bed so I could go on and get my, my beauty sleep so that we could do our toast in the morning. Damn. I could use this as a... Wow. All right. But, yo, um, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm out. Family, yo, wait. But let me first try to find Kwame before I get up out of here. So let me see. Kwame, are you in are you in GNJ Media Talk? Share running a girl. Viewed your live video. Live notification. Um shared IGTV. Boom. Next. I guess we went over an hour. Title, travel quotes. I'll finish that later. We're about to get up out of here. All right, Kwame, I'm going to try to catch you in the morning, bro. I'm about to get up. I'm tired. And I didn't eat. So I'm about to get up. I wonder what y'all can see. Hold on. I just, I'm just trying to, I'm just interested. Huh. But let me go back to the browser. I 
All right. So I can have an interview with somebody over there. That's a nice that's a nice image, by the way. Um so I was on this morning with four people. He was able to do four people, so I'm gonna work on it. Don't don't know only know I used the link you sent. I'm trying to wonder if you used the right link, Kwame. Or maybe that's you. Um let me go and get myself up off of here. Oh, snap. Hold on. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm sorry, family. I, I... Hold on. I'm back, family. Hold on. I want to see something real quick. Incredible. This shit is dope. I don't know if y'all can see this. Hmm. Hmm. All right, the Chromebook is acting crazy. Let's unpublish. I still don't see what y'all seeing. Let me see. What are y'all seeing? Wow, y'all seeing a totally green screen. Oh, black line. You you trying to get on the black line? I, I haven't opened that yet. I'm scared to open the black line. My whole shit might crash. Broadcast has indicated that this channel is intended for mature audience. Start watching. We mature. Let's see. So my camera has crashed. All right. So I'm going to have it figured out by DigiFest. Let's just do that. We're going to have it figured out by DigiFest. All right, family. This is Brother Hot Tim. Let's see. Hold on. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, y'all can hear me. All right, I'm going to work on this shit. All right, family, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm out. With that, once again, I say peace.